Right? Appealing to pride is exactly what Joel Osteen does on a weekly basis. Appeals to people's pride. I pulled a quote because I had to find him. He's just such an example of, 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 of this tactic. Joel Osteen's powerful sermon, I listened the other day to a minute of it. <laughs> the sermon title is what caught my eye. The sermon title from Joel Osteen was, Discover Your Greatness. See, if I had sermons titled that, we get a lot more followers, a lot more likes. This place would be packed. Discover your greatness. Here, all I do, see, I'm making the mistake of every week I'm saying discover your sin. It's been a bad marketing tactic, right? But friends, he's just an example of what the devil tries to do to us all the time, right? You deserve this bigger job, right? God's going to make you shine. That's where God really wants you to excel is in building your bank account. That's what God's interested in. Children, go forth into the world and build wealth. God's really interested in you getting that bigger house. More friends, right? God doesn't believe, woe unto you and all men shall speak well of you. He, yeah, no, yeah, he does. God's not interested in you building a, a body of followers and people that like you. The devil tries to make us think. Joel Osteen makes us think that that's where success is. It's not. Success is not selling the truth. I want to tell you, if, if you were a person with the least amount of money in your bank account, worst job in the world, right? Worst home in the world, worst car in the world, worst everything in the world, but you have not sold the truth, you are wealthy. Amen. 